is a gap in the labor market. And it has been globally acknowledged that scale acquisition is a potential solution to closing down these gaps. But what developed countries did is to isolate scale acquisition programs and keep them as separate courses so that students can subscribe into them optionally and use the skills to complement the basic skills they learned in the tertiary studies. This is the most applicable mechanism and the best option for Nigeria. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Owakwe Ikechiku Henry, and I have two reasons why skill acquisition programs should not be made mandatory in tertiary institutions. Firstly, tertiary courses in themselves are inherently robust, sophisticated, wholesome, and require complete attention. That is why students are required to major in a particular field out of 120 other possible fields so that they can devote their time, their personality, and their resources to maximize their efficiency in these courses. When you compulsorize skill acquisition programs, you create extra stress on these students in an already robust scheme and you force them to diversify in a way that their, their personality is not suited for. Consequently, you make them less efficient in the two courses because they will have to reconcile the theoretical differences that lie in the two courses, like philosophy and bead making, computer science and sewing, which is practically bad for our tertiary institutions. Second argument, tertiary institutions will have to be beefed up with the necessary contraptions and mechanisms in order to standardize the acquisition scheme. The reality is, the federal government might not have the financial resources to make this happen. So what happens is that the schools will only present as options skill acquisition programs that they can afford. The problem there is, students will still opt into skill acquisition programs that they can't necessarily compete in, but they opt just for themselves because there were options presented by their schools. So they will still become less efficient and comparatively less able to take up jobs than people that go to top schools, which is problematic. There's a general misconception that tertiary institutions cannot equip you with necessary skills. There are two skills required of you in life. The general skills like pre presenting, reading and writing, and the technical skills like the ones in engineering, which can all be enshrined in our tertiary institutions. So we do not agree that our te tertiary studies are incompetent and incapable of equipping students for life. We beg to oppose.